the Empire State Building behind me and we are in New York City about to tour this $24,750,000 penthouse. This unit features a total of four bedrooms, five bathrooms, 4,520 square feet of interior space. Also, thank you to the whole team for letting me tour this insane penthouse. Let's go check this place out. We're in 277 Fifth Avenue here in New York City. You walk in, you tell the concierge that you're going to your penthouse suite on the 54th level. And you have, you have two doors, one door that leads into the bedroom and then this is the entrance into your unit. All right, we have made it. So right as you enter this insane unit, of course, floor to ceiling windows with these views of New York City. You can see the Hudson River, Let's check out this unit. High ceilings in here, stage with this piano in the very center. To our right is your formal dining area with these light fixtures hanging down from the ceiling. And of course these penthouses are gonna be all about the views, but right off this dining area, we have an outdoor balcony. This balcony is crazy because right when you step out, that is the Empire State Building, one block away. I don't think you can get better views of the Empire State Building from any penthouse unit aside from this building, this unit specifically. I mean, we are on the 54th floor up here and you just get that nice, cool breeze coming in. It's a pretty large balcony as well. And there is another door to access the kitchen, sliding door to access the kitchen from out here. And there's a lot of outdoor spaces. Wait till we see the one on the other corner of this unit. Back inside, this is where your powder room is. Floating vanity with marble countertops. And we have these nice, Orange tone on the drawers down below, toilet, marble on the floors and on the walls there. More floor to ceiling windows to look out onto that balcony and we have entered your kitchen. Right as you step into the kitchen, we have a full wine fridge, already fully stocked. You buy this unit, you get the wine. And here's a cool feature right here, nice detailed pull out pantry. There's three of them right here. You have a little breakfast nook area. And you have more balcony space that you can access from the door to my right. And it's a little bit more narrow, but it does lead you all the way to the other side of this unit. Now this kitchen is super extravagant. We have the marble countertops on your center island with a waterfall edge. On the other side, more marble countertops. We have a six burner gas stove, Mila appliance down there in your oven, pot filler above, backsplashes of the same marble stone. I like this little wood ledge above here with this marble as well easily put all your spices up there. Sleek stainless steel hood vent and then Mila steamer, microwave steamer down here beneath. And here's your panel fridge and freezer. Wood panel fridge and freezer, brand new. Everything is brand new, never before, never been lived in this unit. It is super clean. It's like, I don't even wanna to touch anything really in here. But then here's that other balcony I was talking about. Another sliding glass door to lead you out here. Here's one thing super unique that you won't see in many other penthouse units for sure, is that we have a jacuzzi up here. When I look at this, I think, how did they even get this up here, honestly? It's not gonna fit through any doors or anything, but this is, can you just imagine chilling in your jacuzzi? Also, we are right next to the primary bedroom. Step out from your bedroom, hang out in this jacuzzi, especially on a snowy day in New York. Can you just imagine looking at this view while it's snowing? You're looking at the Empire State Building, but you're in your hot tub on your balcony, this is, this is something different. We are definitely not in LA anymore. So we're looking at the east side as well. And you do get views of everything, 360 degrees. This is the entire 54th floor up here. But enough of this outdoor balcony, let's head into the primary bedroom. So this is it, your primary bedroom, of course, facing the east side, floor to ceiling, windows right here, king size bed, looking directly at that hot tub and the Empire State Building. Every morning you're waking up to that Empire State Building. I love this wallpaper with the gold detail throughout. As you see, it goes from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. Pretty high ceilings in here. It's gotta be at least 12, 13 feet. And then if you do wanna close it off, you have this nice curtain, this shade that you can black out this room so you can actually get some sleep. But follow me down this way. This is your walk-in closet to the left side. I think it's just right. A lot of times we'll see those walk-in closets with just almost too many doors, too much space, but this is pretty perfect. 
And there's a lot of room to change so you don't have to like squeeze into any corner at all. Recessed lights in here, high ceilings as well in your closet. Follow me down this way. Just a coat closet in there and here's the primary bath. We have these glass doors to lead into the shower here. Two of them, one on each side. Chrome shower head, marble walls throughout, marble floors. And you have the little handheld shower head as well. Little shower niche on the right side in here. And there's your tub. You're looking at the east side here instead of the Empire State Building to the north. Duravit tub though, faucet on the right. Dual vanity with the marble sinks and you have the same modern drawers and cabinets down beneath. Little space for the towels as well, but keep following me out here. So now we've left the primary bedroom. There's another door. This leads into the office. I mean, this office desk is incredible. I don't know exactly what kind of stone that is, but that is one heavy and expensive office desk. I can tell you that. That is not cheap. Of course, if you're in a $24 million penthouse, you're going to want one of the best office desks you can get. But now we're looking at the views of the south. We see One World Trade over there. And there's also a bathroom in this office. Another shower with the glass door. Similar finishes in here with the marble tiles on the wall. And you have a little, little black textured strip up there. Similar vanity, what we've been seeing. You got a waterfall edge here on your countertops, toilet, just luxury, extravagance, everything you'd want in a bathroom for your office space too. Obviously can also be a good guest bedroom. Closet space in here. And down the hall, we got another bedroom over here. Insane views looking to the south. That might be the best views in this entire unit looking south instead of looking north at the Empire State Building and whatnot. It might get boring after a while, but this, I don't see how this could get old with the sun setting. It's absolutely unreal. I do like all of the different tones in the, in the paint on the walls. You see the pink, yellow, some teal, black up there. It's unique. They didn't leave it too cold or too modern like you might see in some brand new homes. But in this bathroom, this is nice. We have a tub with the clad on marble. Then we also have a shower head up above and marble walls. Same vanity that we've been seeing with the orange tones there in the wood. Same tile on the floor. There is a good amount of space in here. It doesn't feel too claustrophobic. They do have a, a good use of space in this bathroom. Toilet, obviously right next to that vanity. And yeah, that was, that was everything in here. All right, we're staying down this hallway. Gallery art, put your art on the wall here, obviously. Then here's another room. They did take this door off to make it more open. But look at this, they have a model here of the building staged in this room, it is incredible. If you come over this side, let's see where we're at. We're right here. With the large balcony across, the biggest balcony in the entire building right there. That is us, floor 54. And so, yeah, this is, this is incredible. I love this mall. I would, I would probably just leave this in here as a trophy room if I were to buy this house. We're also looking south once again, and that, that leads us back into the open living space. Just lots of extravagant sofas to lounge around and look at the views. I mean, that, that's everything there is here in this unit. The views, the living room, family room is right here in the center. We're already passed back to the dining area. TV right here in the center, looking at the Hudson River. I mean, what else there's there to say here in this penthouse? We got a lot of New York penthouse content coming soon, guys, so stick around for that. Hit the subscribe button if you like this video. Thank you to everyone that let me tour this incredible listing here in New York City. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.